like most of the other graphical softwares used, Corel Draw X6 actually has some tools that are available to us when we are working, working with multiple objects. In this tutorial, we'll have a look at some of those uh, tools. First of all, we'll have a look at the Weld tool, then we'll have a look at the Trim, Intersect, then a tool called Simplify, then we'll have a look at how to um, use the tool front minus the back then we'll go into back minus the front and at the end we'll have a look at the tool which is called create boundary all right so let's go and see how the weld tool can be applied now before i actually get into explaining how this uh, tool can be used i would just like to mention that all of these tools that i'll be explaining in this tutorial video can be used on many different objects but for the purpose of this tutorial I will use the simple objects such as a square and a circle so you can actually see how they um, how they work. Um, use the Vel tool we need to have at least two objects so in this case we have a, or a, the uh, yellow circle and the blue the blue square. Now when you select both of these objects you will see in your property bar you will have some new icons. The very first icon is called the Vel tool Basically what this tool will do, it will combine two or more objects into one. So let's go ahead and have a look at the frame wire. Now you can see that those two objects overlap each other. And when you actually try to create a cutout, the cutout will not come out very good. So if we select both of those and we click on the weld button, this tool actually does what it says, it welds the two objects together. Now if we go back to normal view, we can see that from the two objects we have actually just created one. And if we change the color, we will change the color of the both objects. So this, cir this circle we had and the square have now become one object. Any sort of the adjustment or rotation will be performed on both of of the objects. So basically that is the weld tool. So basically you will use the weld tool when you're combining two objects into a one and then you would use some other tool to actually create a cutout. So a basic example of this would be when you're creating a logo. Alright so the next available tool which you can use when you're using two objects when you have selected both of them is this one here which is actually the trim tool. Now the important bit about using the trim tool is that you actually know which object is on top of which object. So in this case we have our square on top of our, of our circle and if we select both of these objects and we click on trim tool, basically the object, the portion of the object that's actually overlapping our circle will be cut out and in this case there will be the bottom left corner of our square as we can see if we move the circle. The square remains as it was and the circle has actually been cut out. Now if we actually if we actually move circle to be in front by pressing shift and page up and once again we select both objects and we'll click on trim tool now so basically now our square will be cut off for the portion that's been overlapping by this circle so if we move the square around we can see that actually the bottom left corner has been cut off and we can do that on many different places so if we put it here and we actually select both of our objects and we'll go trim again we have actually created a hole inside of our of our square now the use of this trim tool is basically everywhere you would use it to create cutouts in your photos in your objects you would use it to create some sort of different shapes and most definitely this will be one of the tools that you'll be using a lot okay so the next tool we'll have a look at it's called the intersect tool and as the name suggests this tool actually does the exact opposite from what the trim tool does 
So if we select both of these objects, we will see the intersect tool come available right here. So basically when we click on the intersect tool, it will find the area that's overlapping, so an intersection, and it will only keep that area. Everything else will be deleted. So let's go ahead and click on the intersect. And as we can see, we have got our intersect of our two objects. Now again, it's very important that you know which object is overlapping which object. Otherwise, you will create the wrong cutout. So like we have had here, we have actually got a cutout of our square for the portion of the circle that's actually overlapping our square. Now if you want to go the other way around, what we have to do is we have to actually bring our square to the top of the circle. So once again by selecting both by selecting both of them and clicking on the intersect we have created a cutout of the intersection of those two objects but this time we will get the circle of those two intersects so if we actually send our circle back oh, actually we'll bring it forward sorry and we'll make it smaller and if we do this and we go intersect what we do what we actually got is the square cut out in the shape of our circle so basically you can use this intersect tool on many different occasions like the trim tool as well except that it does actually the um, exact opposite from what the intersect from what the uh, trim tool does as you can remember when we hit on trim tool we will get everything but the intersection and if we go ahead and we actually do the intersection we'll just get the intersection of those two objects once again it all depends which object is on top of which object and our original obje objects will remain remain the same they will not they will not change at all For the purpose of explaining the simplified tool, I have actually drawn another circle here. So basically, if we select all, all three objects, the simplified, the simplified tool here will become available. Basically, what it does, it actually simplifies the objects. So if we have three objects like this overlapping each other, all three objects will be cut off, except for the one that's actually on top. So basically, two objects our square and our yellow circle will have cutouts but our purple circle will remain the same because it's on top of both of the objects so basically we have seen some sim something similar to this when we have used the trim tool however if we apply the trim tool and now this will only create a cutout on the uh, object that's actually been overlapped by all of the other objects and it will only create a cutout where the objects have actually been overlapping so if we have more than two objects and we would like to create a cutout on two objects in this case because we have three we would use the simplify tool so if we hit the simplify tool what actually happens is that if we move the the circle we can see that our square has been cut off and the circle has been cut off as well so basically the simplify the simplify tool is used to create more than one cutout in more than one objects which overlap each other so the orange so the purple circle will create two cutouts it will create a cutout in the blue square and the orange and the yellow yellow circle here if we draw another object and let's go for example with a star and I'll just center the star and let's get some black color so in this case if we use the simplify tool the three uh, objects 
that have been overlapped by our star will be cut out. So let's go ahead first of all and select all of the objects and we'll hit on simplify. Now if we remove first of all the star we will see that all of the other objects have been cut out in that in that shape. So basically this is the simplify tool which pretty much does exactly the same as the cutout tool or the trim tool except you would use it when you have more objects overlapping each other and you would like to create a shape that's actually um, well let's have a look and see how it actually works a shape that's actually present in all of the all of the objects so what we'll do actually we'll we'll delete all this and let's make it simple I will use a couple of squares so let's go yellow green blue and orange. Now I will align these objects like so. Make sure they're overlapping each other a bit. And let's create a star again to make it visible or make it black. Now if we go ahead and we select all of them and we go on simplify and then if we remove the star we can actually see that we have created a cutout in all of these four squares that has the shape of a star we can then take them apart and create different different shapes so that's basically the simplify tool so we have seen how to combine or how to weld some items or objects together we have seen how to trim them how to find some intersect and cut everything else and delete everything else so just get some intersect we have seen how to simplify it and now what we look at is the front minus the back tool basically what this tool will do it will delete the back or the overlapped object as an object in full so it will delete our yellow circle but also it will create a cutout in our overlapping object so once again it will delete the overlapped object and it will create a cutout in the overlapping object in the shape of that overlapped object so basically when we actually go and select everything and when we actually hit the front minus back button here what we expect is that our circle will be deleted and the intersection between our circle and our square will be deleted as well so there will be this portion here so the bottom left corner of our square so if we go ahead and hit this and basically we will get what we have expected now this tool and the next tool that we're going to discuss which is actually back minus the front tool are very useful when you're working with multiple objects which in most of the cases is going to be and instead of making and instead of you know changing which object is overlapped and which one is overlapping you can just actually go and use those those two tools without actually changing the order of your of your objects so once again the front minus the back tool will remove the back image and the portion of the front image that's overlapping the back image once again this is what we get so let's quickly go over the back minus the front tool so we'll go and select both our shapes as we've done before and I will go and click on back minus front now what we expect is the exact opposite from what we had before when we uh, went to uh, minus uh, front minus back so basically what we 
expect is that our front object which in this case is our blue square will be totally removed and the back image the back object which in this case is the orange circle will remain but the portion of the square that's actually overlapping our back image will actually be deleted or removed as well so let's go ahead and we'll actually see that that is what actually happens now as I have mentioned before this is very useful when you're working with multiple objects which most of the time will be the case and if you have some objects overlapping for example this object instead of actually you know changing the order of your overlapping objects you can just select the two objects or three objects that you would like to work with and then you can either use um, front minus the back uh, tool or back minus the front tool the last tool we're gonna have a look at is actually called create boundary tool <coughs> so basically what it does it will actually create the outline it will use the outline of the two or more objects to create an object so in this case we will have an outline of our circle and our square now the objects will not overlap so we can actually create a new object from those two objects as we will see that so we will select both of them and oops, we will select both of them and the last tool here is the create boundary tool we'll click on it and if we now move this away we will find that the outline has been used of those two objects to create a new object now this is a new object that we can change and we can change its size and we can rotate it and everything else however our original objects are still here and they haven't been deleted and they are as they were when we actually uh, before we actually applied our boundary boundary tool so basically we have seen uh, seven seven tools that can be used to create many different shapes many different objects and logos those tools you will probably use a lot some more than the others and basically we have seen how to basically just group some of the objects together and how to create some cutouts how to uh, work with intersects and how to actually create new new shapes and new objects from combining two or more or more shapes like most of the other graphical software is used Corel Draw X6 actually has some tools that are available to us when we are working working with multiple objects in this tutorial we'll have a look at some of those uh, tools first of all we'll have a look at the Vel tool then we'll have a look at the trim intersect then a tool called simplify then we'll have a look at how to um, use the tool front minus the back then we'll go into back minus the front and at the end we'll have a look at the tool which is called create boundary